Thank you for having us, Nidhi. Thank you and welcome to London. Hi, thank you. We are happy to be here. I am happy that you guys are here and I watched Stolen, I think, two, three days ago. So I lived in India for about seven years Hi. in Gurgaon. Jahan pe ye I feel like it's very common. Hai. Uh, and log ek ko trust nahi karte. people are very conscious about helping each other, which is, that's just the nature of the society, right? In terms of the story, I believe it's actually based on a real event. Tell me a little bit about that and what led you to then converting this into a film. The germ was sort of birthed in me in 2017 when this incident, uh, which was then called the Karbi Anglong uh, lynching, where two young men, very much like us, you know, mid-30s, one worked in finance, the other was a musician, people who I could very easily relate with. They went on a fishing trip back home in Assam and they were wrongfully accused of being child kidnappers and brutally lynched. I keep telling everybody, my film is a tempered down version of what these mobs For real? are. It really shook me, that incident. I mean, because because I personally love going to the outdoors and you know spending time with my friends in remote places in India. It's really something that we chase all the time. To see that this is going on, this kind of randomized violence, this injustice, got me really shook with that and started to bubble inside me. This really clicked for both of us and we shot it in uh, January and February this year. Oh, it's pretty new then. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's absolutely yeah. fresh off the blog, you know. Oh, wow. yeah. So tell me one thing, how do film festivals like this help I know it helps to put the word out about the yeah. film, but in the long run, what is the objective of actually doing these festival rounds? I think the festivals, uh, the way they are structured at the moment, were designed to gather international sales. Like when you make a British domestic film, where do you market the film? You market it in the domestic market. But when you make an international film, how do you market it? How do you get it noticed? Mm. How do you get conversation around it? Is to be in one of the festivals, in a big festival, where people can talk about it, understand it. Some distributors are there to pick it up. That's the primary purpose. But the space for that is shrinking very fast. Why do you say that? Because um, the current environment of theatrical distribution has collapsed, you know, yeah. for independent films. That doesn't exist. They stream and just go to streaming. Like that they go straight to streaming. And now the streaming uh, is saturated they are not buying as much the market is correcting because it's a very stock market driven phenomena for all Netflix Amazon all the streamers and the market is correcting itself there's a lot of firing happening lots of people in America are losing their jobs so there is a downturn in the investments and now there's no theatrical avenue these guys budgets are shrinked up so the space is shrunk a little bit and I think it's gonna further shrink until there is a new distribution model which this model is kind of becoming for the bigger players or say license material which is kind of which drives audience and which drives more subscriber uh, which is big tent pole stuff yeah. where do you see stolen in the long run are you planning this to help it with a big theatrical release or are you hoping for I'm, I don't, I'm not sure like what is the plan of action here I think the plan of action is to get a distributor which we have already we have a few offers a couple of them want to do uh, straight to video one of them wants to do a small theatrical and see how it builds did you meet the real men whose story this is they died. No, they uh, really. They were lynched. But I thought they probably survived at no, the end. No, no, no. Most, if not all, these cases, the victims never make it alive. I'm, I'm not kidding when I say I tempered it down. They have always result. If thousand people are after your life, you can imagine that you know getting out alive is impossible. Be honest, very honest. If you were in that situation, which is the first 20 minutes of the film, how would you react? Would you be a Gautam or a Raman? I'll let you go first. I think uh, Karan should go first. You go first. Instinctively, I would be a Gautam. Okay. I would want to be a Raman. I definitely empathize with the Raman and you know, he's my favorite character in the film. Even Shubham, the guy who is playing him, is a Raman. Is he? Yes, okay. he yeah. is a Raman. Okay. I don't wear my activism on my heart and on my sleeve in that way. Mm. I, I think it's my art that I use to, you know, make a statement and talk about uh, things. But only when you are put in a situation like that, do, does one know how yeah. one is going to react. Yeah. You know, that's the reality that I would say personally. So, I'm not going to make a tall claim that I'm a Raman. No that's way. Fair, that's yeah, fair. It's I really, think all yeah. of us would uh, think hundred times before being like, okay, let me just go out of my way and help exactly. out. Exactly. Because this world is yeah. very yeah. It's a call out to myself, this film also, you know. It's a call out to myself more than anybody else. Yeah. You know, that this is how we should be and if, oh, if I make a film like that <laughs> oh, sorry. Which, no I'm just saying that if I go out and say something like this in my film it will ins inspire me and force me to take different decisions yeah. in the future you know that's Do what you I think, think about you will now having not only <coughs> 
seen it but made it as well. I think uh, I would like to believe that I would. Yeah. You know, I would really like to believe that I would. Until I'm put in the situation, in the situation. I don't know. You know, there were so sorry. I'll just take that back. There were so many points in the film where I was like, "Ah, oh, if only you did that, you wouldn't be here. If only the cops didn't leave you, let you go at the station, you wouldn't be here." But obviously, in hindsight, everything yes. feels different. I want to come back to the question for you. Would no, you I think he's mind? actually answered all the quest, okay. uh, all the stuff that I wanted to say. The one thing is to say it, and one thing is to actually do it. Of course, we feel for these characters a lot. I think a lot inspired from real people that we know in the, who who would be like that or are like that. Yeah. I mean, as he said, one of our characters is in real life. Like that. Uh, Rambo. Yeah. Of course, we have to have empathy, but there is a whole practical angle in India that if you want to get into this, you, you, I have a. 